Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Senior Spotlight. We are joined by Jason Brower. Only one year with the Bloodhounds. Wish it was more. Jason, would you take a look at the 2019-2020, not just the basketball campaign, but just an overall experience of John Jay College? What memories resonate with you? Uh, the biggest memories, I think, is just the people in general. Um, I haven't ever been this close to a coaching staff before, especially team members. Um, we were just one big family now. I would miss them a lot since I graduated and probably the best decision I made. Do you wish you had more time there? Do you wish you maybe committed earlier? Uh, absolutely. Um, not only the fact that, I mean, obviously my career wasn't the best journey, but I think um, I think it was just a right fit for me. And I, especially, I want to get another chance at a championship. We were so close this year and we should have won it, but I feel like if I had one more year, I know, like, I knew the secrets, you know, to be successful and win the championship there. How much of an onus did you put on yourself knowing that you only had one year to deliver a championship to John Jay? And maybe there wasn't as much as a waiting out process uh, that you had in your years prior in other schools. Um, I just knew that, especially in my last year, that I just had to give everything I had. You know, um, I had to listen to my coaches, be coachable, um, and just really just stay focused. You know, some people, you know, they senior year, they just like, oh, it's my senior year. Like, I kind of want to enjoy it, just have fun. I don't really care what happens. But sometimes you have people, you know, really take it serious. And I feel like I really took this year serious. Um, obviously, because of my prior years, you know, I didn't have the best experience. So the fact that I really had like the green right to really just like win and just have a, a chance to really prove myself, I thought that this was the time to do it. Just be focused and really win a championship this year. No, after graduation, you mentioned you hired an agent. There's some professional interest out there. Can you divulge on that? Uh, so coming into this, I knew that uh, COVID was going to play a factor. Um, so I really wasn't expecting much. And so, you know, I was just, the main thing was just me being patient. Um, so I just kept working out. And eventually uh, my agent told me, he goes, listen, you know, like this year might be pretty hard, but, you know, just stay patient, keep working out. And so... Uh, I reached out to a pro team here in the States and they told me to come to their combine. I went there, performed pretty well. They invited me back to the training camp that's in uh, December. Um, they have a couple of trials in different states and stuff like that. And they only take 20 guys total to the training camp. And then from that, uh, from them 20 guys at the training camp, they, uh, they signed 12 guys, like 12 Sally players. So I think I have a pretty good chance, you know. Um, and I also recently just got a text from an agent saying that Finland was looking for a shooting guard. And he's been in contact with them, so something probably going to work out pretty soon, um, regardless if it's in Finland or here in the States. Um, I'm just looking forward to the next step. You know, Doug Levy also on the verge of signing a deal with uh, a team in Israel as well. Did you see pro potential in the both of you two, knowing, um, knowing the work ethic and getting to know each other on a daily basis? Yeah, of course. Um, coming into the season, um, I knew Doug had a great junior year. And um, just by some of the highlights and like, stuff I've seen, I'm like, yo, this guy, he's good, he can play. And then I also seen some prior highlights, you know, freshman year compared to where he is now. I'm like, yo, this is a completely different dude. Like, he must be really putting in the work, you know? So I just knew by his work ethic that there's so much potential for him and he hasn't reached it yet, you know? He's still young, so like, the amount of growth that he can really get to and like the type of player he can be is tremendous so also just playing with him in general just sometimes even just speaking to him in general not even that physical basketball aspect it's just like the way he thinks about basketball he tells that is at a higher level than college you know some guys are they think differently you know and you can tell he has a pro mindset the way he thinks and how he just looks at the game differently definitely well jay it was a blast getting to see you for your one year i wish it was longer um, as well, and I wish we were in a normal world. But good luck in the future. It was great getting to see you play, and nothing but the best. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys.